the Declaration of Independence. We Moors created the Declaration of Independence for the Europeans coming over here who are trying to escape Great Britain, right? Hence, we loaned them 25 million in gold to come over here to get away from Great Britain. We Moors loaned the Europeans 25 million in gold. Y'all hearing that? Sharon Gale, Tracy, Tracy Gale Bay is breaking it down in such a way that it's just incredible to be able to see how this whole thing was orchestrated. So in essence, they came over here to escape Great Britain. They were classified as whites, right? And as a result of that, they became what is now known as the middle class, right? The middle class, okay? But they're still under subjected to the black Christian codes, which are still classified in the monopoly game as terrorists, enemies of the state, bandits, outlaws, right? So they're still being subjected to the very same that the so-called branded Moors, known as black, Negroes, African Americans, Jamaicans, colors, you name it, West Indians, all of that are all classified as enemies of the state, terrorists, bandits, you name it, outlaws, okay? Because they've gone against their own nationalities as Moors, as Europeans, and have claimed to be white, African American, West Indian, so on and so forth, right? So Sharon Tracy Gale Bay here is explaining how it's 67 colonies, counties, sorry, 67 counties that have been set up under the head corporation, the Pennsylvania Corporation. Um, she's located close to near Delaware County. Um, and then under, under that are all these sheriffs and commissioners, administrators and um, controllers and clerk of the courts and all the different positions that they've been given um, the attorney generals, what have you, right? So she's breaking it down in such a way that you can see how the wardship status, so-called branded black Negro coloreds versus the Moors who have their national identification card. And she's saying, really go and declare and proclaim your nationality and also do your name declaration um, form. And she's got the documentations. You can go there. You can also go to rvbaypublications.com to get that as well. I'm not sure. I don't have enough information. I can't just tell you to go somewhere where I don't really have enough information about the Moorish American Consulate Northeastern Territory yet. I don't know enough about it yet to really promote it, but you can go there and find out. I have written to them, but I haven't really had a response back from them. So they may be backed up. They could be busy. Um, but it's really interesting to see how um, this whole thing plays out. So I'd already done videos about the 1724 Black Christian Codes Doctrine, and i done videos about the human trafficking, and I was talking about the Monopoly game and how the Quakers and the Amish and the Mennonites, which are the Europeans who it looks like were fleeing uh, Great Britain, came over here was given the 25 million loan in gold that we gave them because the land, our lands, Morocco, which is now known as the United States of America, was already occupied by us Moors, right? So now they've come over here. They've, they've discovered that they have to, are subject to, to all these taxes because though they're given lands, they have to now pay all these taxes. So what do they do? Convert everything, right? So they can do all these conversos and in converting everything, which is what I was talking about in the other video with these driver's license and these, um, how when you get the driver's license in the mail, the date that you open that driver's license, you've now supposedly contracted with this corrupt corporation, right? To do all their pillage and um, is cheat and fraud, right? Remember people, there's no statute of limitations on, on fraud, eh? 
So no matter what your claim is, um, they'll say that your statute ran out, whatever. There is no statute of limitations on fraud, especially for those of you in your proper person. Your proper person is your Moorish um, appellation, which is El Bay de Al or Ali. She was mentioning another video, you know, Al, <clears throat> stay away from Al or Ali. More, we more tend to use El Bay or Day. <laughs> Anyways, highly recommend you go and do the research in this. I'm just, you know, putting all the pieces together as to how it affects everyone globally. And even those in Australia are impacted as are those globally, because this wardship status monopoly game that's being played out is being played out globally. This is not just, you know, uh, a South America, North America thing. This is global. So once you get your head wrapped around what's actually going on, you're able to combat it and deal with it proper, right? So she's saying that, um, I was just listening to another um, more explain that even the Europeans are now joining up with the Moors because they too um, need to correct their status and claim their nationality. And, um, <laughs> oh boy, which goes back to one of the other original videos I was talking about where I was saying that we're also being helped by the Europeans, by the so-called um, misclassified white <laughs> Albions, because um, I could see how everybody's impacted and it's not just Moors that come to us for help. Um, over the years. It's other, it's Europeans as well. And we're not in a position to deny them um, the help as well, because we see that they're also under the same monopoly game. You see where I'm going? So once you are exercising love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, you realize that um, it affects everybody. And once everyone gets their head in the game properly, we can fix this thing. We can work together and we can figure it out. But if we're going to play sides and play this race card that doesn't actually exist, okay, that was another trick bag, a game that they gave us. So they gave us this so-called notion of white supremacy. That doesn't exist because we're the only so-called whites, <laughs> the copper colored people, we're the free white people, okay? And it was, again, trading places with us. But the truth of the matter is, in addition to that, there is no white supremacy in that regard, how they're, they're trying to claim that this thing exists. No. Why? Because we're the only humans on the planet, number one. Everybody else is mankind. And we, Moors, created them. We're the creators of all. It's in operation. So once you look at it from that perspective, you're able to deal with it a lot better, you know? But um, what she's saying here makes a lot of sense because it now you can solidify how these crown temple agents, these deputy knight templars, um, archbishops, uh, popes for the, the, the Holy Rome sitting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how it's all broken down. And what they've done is if they've created these different corporate constructs through these conversions and confused the mind so one is not able to really identify who's who and what's what, right? But when you break it down into this kind of a way and you could see the clerk of the courts and all these different entities for who they really are, then you can deal with it properly. Like, share, subscribe, go and watch this video. And you can write to them at the Moorish um, um, American Consulate, Northwestern Territory, and um, see if you can get your stuff there through there. But I, I know RV Bay Publications, and that's what I always send people to. And I haven't done enough research on this or got enough information to give you um, my feedback on, on whether this works or not. They even have the counselor courts now, so I'm still doing research on that. Once I find out, because there's other people affected by situations that everyone's trying to get remedy. I've been told about Northern Mariana Islands, um, to go there for the, the the superior court justices, the district court judges. So I've done that in another video. You can go and watch that, but like, share, subscribe, and go and do your research. Do not take my word for it. Go and do the research.